welcome to thorough newspaper analysis which is brought to you by law seeko so today we have only one article to be discussed which is from the hindu newspaper the title of this article is aadhar as a hurdle basically this article talks about as to how despite various benefits the problems in the aadhar verification have led to a various kinds of hurdles in the society as well and secondly we have the news in flash column before we move further in the video let's discuss about the project maverick which is almost free clat preparation course from law seeko so this course is very nominal to the pocket and cost only rupees 100 so if you're preparing for clat 2021 or 22 you can check out the course in the description box below this is the multiple choice question from yesterday's discussion s400 missile belongs to which country your options are russia india iran or israel you can write down your answer in the comment section below this is the descriptive question for the day what are the benefits of aadhar verification what steps are needed to improve the system so this article talks about aadhar as a hurdle so the supreme court recently termed the allegations by a petitioner that 3 3 crore ration cards were cancelled for not being linked with aadhar database as very serious so recently a petition has been brought in the supreme court wherein the petitioner has alleged that 3 crore of the ration cards were cancelled just because they were not linked with the aadhar database and that some of these were connected to reported starvation in some states so what ultimately has happened that many of the people who were uh, the, amongst those whose aadhar cards were cancelled uh, amongst these 3 crore ration cards so because of the cancellation of these ration cards they were not able to avail the basic food grains that are available through the public distribution system and thus they have suffered and even died due to starvation so this situation is really serious because here it is the responsibility of the government to get the ration cards linked and verified by the aadhar with the aadhar database but if at all the government fails to do so the people who are poor and do not even have food grains or food to fulfill their basic necessities they are the ones who are at the brunt of it and they face the challenge of hunger and poverty together thus when we talk about aadhar and public welfare we should keep in mind that nearly 90% of india's projected population has been assigned the aadhar number but still there are people who are left out of this complete verification and even there are many whose aadhar has not been verified with the other documents like in this case the ration cards also when we talk about the scheme of government which is the one nation one ration card scheme it is mandatory that to make use of the ration card beyond a particular district or the fair price shop that had been assigned to us and to make use of that ration card for availing the benefits of public distribution system in the entire country the verification needs to take place and the ration card of a particular person must be verified and linked with the aadhar number now in case of a failure where this verification or linkage has not been able to be taken place then such person will not be able to take the benefit of the one nation one ration card scheme and thus specifically the migrant laborers who generally work outside their home state and home districts would not be able to avail the benefits of this particular program and thus it is important that we note that there are people who are still left out of the scheme and thus a complete pan india movement should be done to include everybody under the aadhar verification system also if we talk about the stance or opinion that the courts have taken now uh, every now and then so in 2018 it was upheld that aadhar program is a reasonable restriction on individual privacy to fulfill the welfare requirements and dignity and that is why a way forward was given to aadhar verification saying that it was a reasonable restriction on a person's a uh, fundamental right to privacy which is endowed under article 21 of the constitution and thus aadhar verification is important for leading a healthy life and for complete welfare of the society then recently in 2021 january as well a 4 is to 1 majority bench rejected a review petition questioning the scheme's validity for public purposes thus it is clear from the stance of the court that it is in complete favor and it is in complete appraisal of the aadhar verification but then again the government should be very careful that the aadhar verification is done in time and that every individual irrespective of his status or social status he should be allowed and he should be brought under the ambit of aadhar linkage now let's understand that what are the major issues that are associated with the aadhar firstly 
inefficiencies in biometric authentication and updating. Now, this is a big problem when it comes to the biometric authentication and updating because many a times the people change their permanent addresses. Many a times the people, you know, uh, have some changes to be made in the name or other uh, information in the Aadhaar linkages. At such a scenario, in such a scenario, the biometric authentication. Now, what do we mean by biometric authentication? Like the authentication of our fingerprints or our eye, you know, the eye uh, uh, verification that takes place. So this kind of verification is called as the biometric authentication. So there needs to be regular updation or updating of the particular data in the Aadhaar linkage. Second, linking of Aadhaar with bank accounts. So as we know that for various government schemes, like availing the direct benefit transfers from the government of India under various schemes, the basic requirement of this is that the Aadhaar should be linked with the bank accounts of the people. Also, we should understand that there are a lot of people in the country who do not even have bank accounts in the first place. So that is why basic infrastructure in this direction needs to be built and the linking of Aadhaar with the bank accounts should be done more effectively and at a wider scope. Thirdly, use of Aadhaar payment bridge. Now, this is one thing that is very much important because many a times many payments are done using the Aadhaar verification system. But many people who are not able to understand the system or they're not able to enroll themselves in the, into the system are not able to get into this payment bridge and thus the digital divide increases in the country. Fourthly, inefficiencies and failures have led to inconvenience and suffering of the poor. Just we saw the example wherein um, amongst the three crore ration cards that were cancelled just because they were not linked with the Aadhaar database, so many people have suffered due to the starvation in various states. Fifthly, failures in authentication leads to delays in dispersal of benefits and in many cases denial due to cancellation of legitimate beneficiary names. Just the case that we had discussed just now. And next, reports from Jharkhand as per the 2017 data suggested that starvation deaths due to the denial of benefits have taken place and thus the linking with Aadhaar needs to be done more rigorously. So the central and state government should provide an alternative identification for the genuine. So we should understand that if at all, there are people who are genuine, whose credentials and biometrics are genuine, who are genuinely the beneficiaries of any particular scheme. So they should completely be brought under the ambit of it. And thus some alternative identification methods can also take place. If at all, there are uh, there is absence of Aadhaar. So let's see what do we have for news in flash today. Pritzker Prize 2021. So this year's prize was awarded to French architect duo Anne Lecatin and Jean-Philippe Vassil. They are known for their never demolish principle and their notion of sustainability embodied in a three pillar balance, economic, environmental and social. So they built the infamous glass pyramid, which is there in Paris. So it's, uh, if we talk about the price, so this is given to builders of iconic monuments. All right. So the prize is called as Pritzker Prize. So this year it was given in the year 2021, which has been awarded to Anne Lekaton and Jean Philip Vassel. So this was all for the day. We hope it was a good and informative session for you all. Stay tuned with Law Seco for such more sessions to come daily. Thank you so much.